The special board of aldermen is meeting at Lake Ozark today to talk about their position on the possibility of casinos opening in that area. Marina Silva was in the meeting on the final decision. She joined us live with the latest. Marina. Lisa, it was a unanimous decision by the Board of Aldermen here in Lake Ozark to be in full support of the Senate joint resolution, but that does not make it all a done deal. Right now, casinos are only allowed on the Missouri and the Mississippi rivers. If Missouri Senate Resolution 14 passes the legislature, then wins voter approval, gambling votes would be allowed at Lake of the Ozarks. Here in Lake Ozark, aldermen voted to support the Senate resolution. This resolution, if it moves forward, identifies the portion of the Osage River between Bagnell Dam and the Missouri River, about a 60 mile stretch. Uh, the city being within that boundary feels like it is important to either um, support, uh, to make their voice known whether they're in support of the issue or opposed to the issue. Many showed up to voice their opinions. I think that there's a lot of projects that, that need to get done, a lot of sewer infrastructure and, and, and roads that need fixed, and I think this is a good way to, to fund that without having to raise taxes. I'm not caring for the casino uh, because mainly um, the gentleman was talking about being uh, locals versus visitors. Uh, we got to keep in mind this is a seasonal area. Visitors, most of them are coming into the season, so we still have the other half of the year is most is locals. If all of those doorways were opened and a, an operator took out a license within this area, uh, it's anticipated that it would have a, a very significant economic impact to the lake region. Uh, job creation, tax dollars raised, and it would also uh, perhaps sustain the tourism season beyond just that uh, Memorial Day to Labor Day window. This could be a, an out of season draw too. Now, this Senate joint resolution is in the Emerging Issues Committee in the state Senate. They have a hearing for it tomorrow at 10 a.m. in Jefferson City. Now, if this were to pass out of the General Assembly, it would go to voters in November of 2024. Live in Lake Ozark tonight, I'm Marina Silva, KY3 News.